Hey everybody, Saltwater Shanes here. Um, I'm gonna give you a little update on the tank. Um, it's been up and running now for close to three weeks and we got pretty much everything in here. I made a couple pretty sweet additions here. All right, we'll start down here because it's pretty cool. This frog spawn coral. You can see he's got his, his sweeper tentacles out. What they do is they, they'll put those out and they'll basically they'll sting any corals that are around them and pretty much for them to stay away. Showing a little bit of their dominance in their territory. And right next to them over here is our torch coral, which seems to be doing really happy. He's, all his tentacles are sweeping in the, um, the current there. He seems to be doing real well. And we got one of our candy cane corals back there. He's, he's grown quite a bit. Just use some of the um, addition to some of the heads on there. And we got our our hammer coral right here. He's pretty big and they shrink up to like a little bit at night and they close up. So he's pretty opened up right there. So he seems to be happy in that spot and the flow seems to be doing pretty well. And this is our Cespitillaria coral and he's pretty much doubled in size. So, I mean, he's doing real well. And seems to like all the water parameters here and Got a couple of new pieces back there. There's a clear of Zoas. And there's a nice one over here too. He's got some green green heads to him, but it's purple on the Zoas. And right there is our, our Tamini Tang down there. We, we got him about a week and a half ago and he's really good in the reef. See what he does, he'll eat all the um, algae off the, the rocks and he cleans up. He's like basically part of the cleanup crew. He comes out, he's being a little shy. He's a shy little fish. And right there is our little clownfish and we recently bought him a home which is right there which is the red bubble tip anemone so he's really pretty if you can see down in here he's got green inside of him too he's really opened up nice and seems to do really well in here and we're waiting for him to host our little clownfish but it hasn't happened yet sometimes it takes a little bit you got one of the snails up there doing his job cleaning up cleaning up the glass That's our jack o' lantern coral, which he's probably grown a little bit. We've had him about two weeks now, and he's really pretty too. He lights up the tank at night when we have the uh, black light on. And that's our flower pot coral, which when we transferred him over to that new tank, it took him a while to open up, but he's been real happy lately. He's been in, opened up now for like a week, doing real well over there. And we also had that, that purple flower pot coral right there. He only opens up mainly at night. When he feeds and he closes up during the day, which is a little disappointing. I like to see him open up during the day. We'll see what happens with him now. And there's our clownfish, our marine clownfish, and our Haitian anemone, which he hasn't been too happy with lately. He keeps on moving around the anemone on him. And I think that the clownfish has been bullying him a little bit, so you gotta be nice to him. It's where he lives. That's about it.